In this episode, we'll look at overcoming pre-fight fear, how introverts can shift their state to fight at the best, and finally, why it takes more than a solid strength and conditioning program to become a champion. Welcome to the Heavy Hitters Podcast, helping ambitious fighters and coaches take their game to the next level by bridging the gap between strength and conditioning, performance science, and Muay Thai. And here is your host, Don Hedrick. All fighters feel anxiety before they fight, and for many it becomes full-on fear. It's normal, but it must be controlled if you're going to fight at your best. Fear equals anxiety plus uncertainty. Anxiety without uncertainty is simply nervousness. And pre-fight nerves are good. It means you respect the situation and you're primed to perform better than you would do without nerves. And uncertainty without anxiety is excitement. In fact, anxiety, fear and excitement all produce the exact same neurochemical signals in the brain. Separating anxiety from uncertainty is the antidote to fear. You can achieve this by either or both. Reducing anxiety by better controlling your internal state, using breathing methods for example. Increasing certainty by controlling more of the external environment or reframing the situation. By asking things like, what about this do I know? If it's not your first fight, you've been here before. What about this do I understand? Learn about anxiety and fear and what to expect, like in this podcast for example. And decide to reframe the sensation of anxiety into excitement. What about this can I control? Just work through your pre-fight prep routine step by step. And finally, becoming okay with a certain level of uncertainty. Taking action is the key. Control what you can control, pick one thing and complete it. Move on to the next thing. Each time you set yourself a mini goal and complete it, you get a little bit of dopamine, the reward chemical, triggering excitement. Just taking control of something will pull you out of a spin. Can introverts ever become comfortable with fighting? Yes, they absolutely can. Many of the great fighters that I interview on the Science of Building Champions podcast are firm introverts. They struggle in the hustle and bustle of groups and limelight attention. I'm an introvert too, but I discovered I can switch gears for a short time and embrace more outgoing personality traits in pursuit of what psychologist Brian R. Little calls personal projects. When you're passionate about something, you're capable of suspending your biogenic fixed traits, such as introversion, and adopting free traits that better serve your passion in that moment. You become a pseudo extrovert. It's not that you're faking it, it's just that you can temporarily tap into a free state that aligns with your true passion. Although at a high energy cost, it's important that you allow yourself the opportunity to recover afterwards. Take yourself away for some quiet time. So as an introvert, although you may not believe that you can ever get comfortable in the limelight in the ring, you absolutely can. And especially for introverts, doing so can lead to tremendous personal growth. I've been asked if by using my training programs you can become a champion. And a truthful, meaningful answer requires a deeper explanation. Your initial level of achievement in anything is a product of your talent multiplied by your effort. Over time, persistent effort builds skill. And according to Dr. Angela Duckworth, your ultimate level of achievement is the product of your skill multiplied by your effort. Effort is the key to unlocking talent, your natural aptitude or inborn ability, and turning it into leveled up skill, a learnt ability. But not all effort is created equal. Reaching the top undoubtedly requires talent and long-term effort to build the prerequisite skill of a champion. But that effort must also be high quality. You must 80-20 your effort to target the priority few instead of wasting time on the trivial many. Double down on the 20% of your actions that produce 80% of your results, not the other way around. My programs are designed to give you the priority 20% of actions that will see you build the performance foundation of a champion to make sure your effort is not wasted. That's my job. But that's not the complete picture. Your environment shapes your effort too. Who else is there supporting you? What other opportunities are available to you? Your job is not only to follow the training and apply the required effort, but also to seek out a supportive, adequately skilled environment in which to develop your craft. 
your training facilities, Muay Thai gym, the coaches, your teammates, local fight promotions, etc., all need to achieve a minimum threshold of support and opportunity. Only when all of these elements are in place can you hope to become a champion. Using my programs can't guarantee you'll become a champion, but they will plug the gaps that you'd be missing otherwise. And if you have the talent, a supportive environment, put in the effort, this significantly increases the probability of you becoming a champion and staying there. Thanks for listening. If you found this valuable, please like, subscribe and share with someone else it could help too. Please give the podcast a review or comment below. We'd love to hear from you. As always, you can visit heatrick.com for more Muay Thai performance podcasts, videos, articles and guides. Catch you next time.